Yes. Actually, the, everyone was really psyched, and the thing about Bejewel Twist is um, that was our, our first major multi-million dollar launch, and it was uh, like a company secret, and I mean, it was it, it was interesting because, okay, prior, I mean, the, part of this evolution of what we're talking about the definition of what is a casual game and how it's evolving into these high-end markets, and I have a job because of that. Because prior to this, PopCap didn't really think anything about marketing. They said, our games sell themselves. And now we've hired on a new VP of marketing, and now we, we, we're starting to see that, that value in marketing. So, um, sorry, what was your original question? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. So, no, I, I think the, the only issue there, I, I don't think anybody was really worried no. You'd have to probably ask a developer for that one. I had to study Astropop for this one, so. Uh, sorry, don't have that answer. Yes? Are you creating content for specific markets, or is it all casual, same product offered throughout the world? Well, it really depends on the, the partner, what they want to carry, but in they will, they basically want all of the PopCap games, and then whatever sells, sells. And that's what they end up promoting. Yes? Well, I think if you're doing it over time, you, you would look at the, the, the try and buy model as the most successful something we're famous for, so and something we've been doing for quite some time. Um, as the studies show in Asia, they don't necessarily like the downloadable games. They want more web-based games. And so we're also looking into that in the Shanghai studio. So as long as it's fun, you know, that's that's the key point. Um, our current, let's see, we've got about 28 employees right now, and that's split between marketing, well, myself is for marketing, maybe three for BD, admin, two out of that, so, and the rest of them are developers and artists. Yes. Yes. Great, thank you very much.